Let's finish up this sequence of thinking about the star. We're going to combine with uh, the star with D, um, and we're going to do star D star again, but this time on a two form in R4. Now just see, it's really a warm up for something that's going to be a little twisted version of this that's going to be uh, very, very interesting, I hope, in uh, the next worksheet and the next few videos. But let's do this. So we're going to do star D star, whoops, not integral, of this kind of expression, gamma 1, 2 plus, um, let me just copy and paste that a bunch. There's going to be six of these guys. So let's do uh, 1, 3, and 1, 4, and 2, 3, and 2, 4, and I need one more. and 3, 4. And it doesn't really matter how you write these, but I'm going to try and be consistent and write them in increasing order. Okay. So, okay, well, I'm just going to leave the star D out there first, and then I'm just going to look at the star of this whole thing. Okay. So, dx1 which dx2 turns into 3, 4 with a plus sign. 1, 3 turns into 2, 4 and 1, 3, 2, 4, the 3 and the 2 are just switched, and so we get a minus. 1, 4 turns into 2, 3. And let me just do a little, have a little scratch paper. We just really care about the order of the digits. So 1, uh, 4 has turned into 2, 3. And we just want to know how many transpositions are necessary to take that to 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a very common subject in algebra of how permutation, it's called taking the sign of a permutation. How many transpositions are necessary to, uh, to change something into something else? And so the 2 and the 4 have to switch, and then the 3 and the 4 have to switch. So that's actually going to be a plus. Okay. Then the 2, 3 is going to become a 1, 4. Okay. And now, okay, so 2, 3, 1, 4, because if I put the 2, 3 in front of the 1, 4, I want to see how different that is from one, one, two, three, four. Well, let's see. There, I need to switch the one past two things, and that's all. And so it's going to be plus again. Okay. Two, four turns into one, three. Two, four, one, three. So there, I need to switch the one past two things. That's two switches, and then the three and the four are still in the wrong order. That's three switches. So this is going to be a minus. And then lastly, 3, 4 turns into 1, 2. And 3, 4, 1, 2. I need to switch the 1 past 2 things and the 2 past 2 things. Or equivalently, I have to switch sort of the 2 form 1, 2 and the 2 form 3, 4. And 2 forms always commute. So, because um, internally they're in the right order. All right, so that's going to be a plush. So we're getting 1, 2, it looks like 2 minus signs. Let's just make sure I changed all of them correctly. Okay. Looks good. Alrighty, so delete the scratch paper right there, the scratch thing. Okay, so now I get to do D on that whole thing, and then I'll start at the end. Well, so this isn't too bad. There's gonna be six there's gonna be there's six terms, there's gonna be two partial derivatives for each one of these guys. And so this is gonna be like the partial derivative of gamma 1, 2 with respect to, well, I don't need it with respect to 3 and 4 because that would die. I need it with respect to x1 and x2. So notice when you take d, if I had taken d of this guy without the star, I would be taking gamma 1, 2, I'd be taking the derivatives with respect to the other variables. And that's a, the fundamental, th a really fundamental thing about d. It makes it feel like the curl that you take the derivative of one component by the other variables. And that's essential to d, it's essential to y d squared is 0, things like that. Um, but here, when I do star and then a d, I've switched the 1 and 2 to be a 3 and 4, so now it's actually 1, 2 with respect to its own variables. That's much more like the divergence. So this is going to be feel mo more like the divergence than the curl, even though it's neither of them really, because it's a, a more complicated gadget, it's a 2 form. Okay. Um, all right, so gamma 1, 2 with respect to x1, that's going to be times dx1 
wedge dx3 wedge dx4. Okay. And now I want to be a little bit efficient about writing this down. There's going to be another place where dx1, dx3, dx4 comes in. That's going to be here. It already has a 1 and a 4. Well, there's going to be two other places. That already has a 1 and a 4. That just needs a 3. So that's going to be um, plus or minus. I'll put a minus in for just for right now. Let me just copy and paste this. So it's going to be 2, 3. And then with respect to x3, okay, so that would be a 3, 1, 4. Because remember, when you take the partial derivative, you get the partial derivative, and then right next to it, the dx3 is going to come in. That's going to be a 3, 1, 4. That's a minus. So in, indeed, it's going to be the opposite sign. And there wasn't a minus here. Okay. One other place it could come in. Here was a 3, 4, and we're introducing a 1. Here's a 1, 4, introducing a new 3 from the derivative. And then we just need a... Uh, 1, 3, and introducing a 4. So it's this guy. Okay. So minus, and we're not sure of the sign here, but it's going to be 2, 4, derivative with respect to x4. Now that's going to put a dx4, dx1, dx3. You have to switch through 2, so you get no change in sign, but it was already minus. Okay. So there's the kind of thing we get. Okay. So, oh, and I still need to star that whole thing, so I'm going to put a big square brackets around that. Okay. So, um, now plus, and I'm going to get um, three more things like that. Let's see what the next thing would be. Um, we're stu I still haven't used up this guy. Remember, this was also going to get a derivative with respect to x2, and then dx2, dx3, dx4. So let's write that down, dx2 wedge dx3 wedge dx4 and and believe me if you want to fast forward through this calculation feel free it's really up to you how much detail you want uh, when you want live okay so this is going to be partial 1 2 with respect to x2 and that's going to be in this order exactly because the dx2 is going to show up in front of the 3 and the 4 okay and then what are the other ones it's definitely not going to be these guys let me just leave, leave blank these out so we're not distracted by what they were before. Okay. And we'll see what the signs are. Okay, where else would a 2, 3, 4 come from? It would come from a 2, 4, including a 3. So that's going to be a 1, 3 with respect to 2. So it's this guy. Oh, with, no, sorry, with respect to x3. And then that would create a dx3, dx2, dx4. So 3, 2, 4, aha. That would be a sign switch, but it was already minus, so this is going to be plus. Notice how incredibly careful you have to be with the signs here. And I'm even going to throw more signs in uh, later. Sorry about that. It's life. And then the last one, instead of having 3, 4 already in place or 2, 4 already in place, what about having 2, 3 already in place? So that's going to be the 1, 4, which just shows up here. And then I'm going to take the derivative of that with respect to x4. And that's going to be 4, 2, 3. Oh, it's two switches, so it doesn't change the sign, and it was plus. Okay. So um, it's not, you, you might be thinking, what's the pattern in the signs? Well, it all kind of depends on how we write the dx2, etc., um, and how we wrote these guys in the first place. So it's not guaranteed that it's going to be a simple pattern of signs. That's the great thing about, ooh, it's not going to work, is it? Um, you know what? I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to calculate the d first, and then I'll do the star at the end. And that's just because it doesn't work well to put that in brackets. I don't think that's very good, a good idea. Okay, so now we're going to do two more. Let me just set it up here. And um, so I'll just blank out these guys. We're not sure what they are yet. We'll just get a template ready here real quick. And good time to fast forward or stop and just think about what's going on. Actually, let me, I'll do those first. So you can think about what are the DXs that we still need that we're going to get here. Okay, so we got 1, 3, 4, and 2, 3, 4. So that's missing 2, that's missing 1. We need the one that's missing 3. And the one that's missing 4. Okay, now for dx1, 2, and 4, that's going to come, oh, for example, here from 2 and 4. So that's going to be gamma 1, 3. It has a minus, 
And I need a 1 here, and that's going to be 1, 2, 4 in that order, so it's going to still be minus. Boom. Okay. And then I could get that from a 1 and 4, so that's going to be gamma 2, 3 with respect to 2, because I need to put in a dx2 here. The dx2 needs to be moved one step into place. It was plus, so it ends up minus. Good. Okay. And then, what's the other one? 1, 2, 4. That could come from 1, 2. That was associated with gamma 3, 4. And I'm putting in a dx4. needs to be moved 2 over. It was plus, and so now it's still plus because that's two switches. Oh, and the derivative here is 4. Okay. Almost done. The 1, 2, 3's are going to come from, well, let's see, it's all, everything that doesn't include a 4, basically. Okay, 1, 2, 3. It's going to be 1, 4 with respect to x1, and that shows up in the right order, and it was plus to start. And then um, here's a, oh yeah, here's a 1, 3, so that's going to be gamma 2, 4, and I need to put in the 2, x2. That's going to be 2, 1, 3, so I need to switch the sign, but it was minus, and so it's going to be plus. And then 3, 4, so 1, 2, this is going to be gamma 3, 4 with respect to 3, x3. That's going to be 3, 1, 2. You switch it twice, no change in sign, and it was plus. Whew! Okay. That's a lot of work. Okay, so now star d star, star d star of gamma is just the star of this guy, and that's relatively easy. Um, I'm just going to copy this in, but it's going to collapse a little bit, because I'm just going to change all these three forms to one forms. So 1, 3, 4, that turns into dx2. Ah, uh, not a subscript on the plus. And um, 1, 3, 4, 2, the 2 is out of place by 2, and so I don't need to change the sign. Okay. 2, 3, 4 turns into dx1. And 2, 3, 4, 1, the 1 is out of place by 1, 2, 3, and so that's going to be a minus. And then 1, 2, 4 is going to turn into 3. 1, 2, 4, 3 is out of place by a minus. A one, an odd sub, an odd product of transpositions. And then 1, 2, 3 is going to turn into 4. And that doesn't need a change, need a sign change. Okay. So finally, we've got it. Now let, let's look at it. It's This is kind of a warm-up for a, a problem in the next uh, set. So it's not like we should stare at this and say, oh my god, that's amazing. What have we got? But we do, we can look at this and uh, and think about Again, what I said about it, it's got a flavor a little bit about the, of the divergence. We've taken a complicated object, six components, two form. We've got it down to a one form, four components, and it's combining a lot of these derivatives, these 12 derivatives together. And it's always, there's always a commonality between one of these indices, like this was an x1, x2 component, and the derivative. Um, there's, that's always, uh, there's a partial match there. Okay. Um, that was pretty long, so I'm going to split, I'll split off uh, five into uh, another separate video.